Your regular hips don't always run for the corner, especially with equal overhangs. So if you're working on a roof like that, here's how you can figure out how much the hip needs to shift. Here we have an irregular hip running to the corner of the fascia line. Since the overhangs are equal, the hip won't run through the corner of the wall plate. And I want to figure out how far down this plate the hip rafter will sit. So what I can do is figure out this angle. The calculator will find that for me if I enter the regular pitch. So I'll push 6 inch pitch. And then the run, let's say 10 feet, 3 inch, and push run. And then the other pitch, so let's press 10 inch and then push the hip valley button to set it as the irregular pitch. Now, since I entered the 6 inch pitch as regular and 10 inch as irregular, this angle will display as cheek 2 when I toggle through the hip and valley button. Once that angle displays, I want to push equal, then pitch to set that as my new angle, and then enter the run of the overhang, one foot, and push run. Now pushing rise and subtracting the overhang, so minus one foot, shows me that the center of the hip will sit eight inches from this plate corner.